Elon Musk never fails to stun his audience with splendid technology and unimagined gadgets. Heavy-duty spacecraft, automated Tesla electric cars, or Neuralink's brain-machine interfaces are certainly jaw-dropping products we possibly couldn't have imagined in reality. This isn't always the first time that sensational information about Tesla's plans to release its very own phone with the characteristics capable of revolutionizing the market of cell gadgets has hit the internet. Further to actual characteristics, the currently proposed renders of the Destiny telephone, Tesla version Pi smartphone, imply that an effective smartphone might be within the remote future. Tesla Pi renders show that Musk's smartphones will use the iPhone 12 design with its flat aspect edges. It's assumed that the front digicam can be positioned underneath the display screen, and the primary digital camera will acquire four sensors. It's going to additionally use the technology of photochronic coating of the case, which permits you to trade shade relying on the surroundings. Tesla Model Pi Layout Tesla's cell phone designer is Antonio De Rosa, an expert who has created thrilling standards for Apple products. The dressmaker will make the cell phone in honor of Tesla and Starlink and SpaceX. Many device marketplace researchers are aware that the Tesla Model Pi seems like an iPhone 12. For instance, the telephone has four cameras in a rectangular frame. The phone's aspects are rounded with a silvery tint. However, the smartphone has numerous layout variations. The system can have a case with a coating that could change color. How? The builders have created a photochromic coating so that it will shimmer with diverse pigments that have an impact on light. Inside the video of the presentation, the front camera is not seen in the renders. Professionals agree that the front digicam will be positioned beneath. In addition, the developers are introducing a solar panel for recharging. The logo of the organization, the fashion designers call, determined to market at the lower back panel. Capabilities of Tesla version Pi. While creating a cell phone, the builders used modern Tesla technologies. The smartphone will help Starlink satellite TV for PC net. The builders have said that the information download speed might be up to 210 megabits in one second. The cell phone will assist the Neuralink era, so one can read data from the head brain. The builders say that in case of damage, customers will update some of the brain capabilities. Such phrases sound like something from a movie about the future and purpose satisfaction. Customers can also use the smartphone to mine MarsCoin cryptocurrency. Thus, people will be able to earn virtual cash by mining on their phones. The cell phone might be capable of syncing with other Tesla vehicles. Thinking that the Tesla car has taken a huge position in the market and is becoming increasingly more famous thanks to its abilities, it becomes clear that Elon Musk's phone will revolutionize the phone market. Tesla's phone will follow in the footsteps of its massive brother, the auto, and win users' hearts. Tesla Model Pi Safety We stated that the phone could help with Starlink Internet. This fact alone is enough for us to assess the safety of Tesla version Pi. Last year, Elon Musk released Starlink Satellite TV for PC primarily based net. The assessment is in beta at the moment, and the network is to be had best in a few areas. Elon Musk plans to launch the network globally in 2021. However, professionals have found a hassle within the Starlink satellite net machine. Hackers can effortlessly intercept Starlink site visitors. Elon Musk said that the agency had developed its proprietary protocol for encrypting user-consumer facts and will use end-to-end -end encryption. In his opinion, those factors will offer humans safety. However, Tesla hackers efficiently intercepted the traffic. They used the technique of hacking satellite TV for PC channels and of the DVBS Trendy, after which assaults started with the advent of malicious applications. Starlink is currently designed to be a non-mobile internet provider because its satellite dishes are meant to be stationary and provide internet for homes and businesses with access to everyone. One can connect to the Starlink network by using your cell phone, but only via Wi-Fi and within the proximity that Elon has stated. Starlink has plans to be more mobile in the future, but this isn't possible at the moment because SpaceX has only launched a fraction of its projected satellites, which means that the coverage is spotty and narrow. But as Starlink increases its access, this dream could become a reality. Elon Musk's Starlink new patent filings may have uncovered hidden plans for a phone service and low-income web access, as the company is aligning to develop even farther than initial predictions indicated. Founded and created by SpaceX, Starlink services will offer the world's first high-speed, low-latency satellite internet service, coordinating the world's largest fleet of operating satellites 
to deliver consistent service to the world's most disconnected areas, including those in the United States. SpaceX writes in a petition to the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC. The recent filing shows that Elon Musk's SpaceX is planning to actively target people with lower income through its Starlink satellite internet constellation to offer US customers a cheaper phone plan, emergency backup for voice calls, as well as affordable internet access. Starlink services will provide voice telephone services, including voice grade access to the public switch telephone network, or PSTN, or its functional equivalent, minutes of use for local service provided at no additional charge to end users, as well as access to emergency services and toll limitation services to qualifying low-income customers. With this, Starlink services will offer voice services on a standalone basis, at rates that are reasonably compared to urban rates. However, the plan and its expected services hinge on Starlink receiving a designation as an Eligible Telecommunications Carrier, or ETC, under the Communications Act. Such an ETC designation is required in several U.S. states so that the company could receive reimbursement for the Lifeline program for low-income customers, which according to the FCC's website, offers quote, a discount on phone services for qualifying low-income consumers to ensure that all Americans have the opportunity and security that phone service brings, including being able to connect to jobs, family, and emergency services. Starlink Services currently has no Lifeline customers because only carriers designated as an ETC can participate in the Lifeline program, the company stated. That means that along with an ETC designation, SpaceX will provide a Lifeline to qualifying low-income consumers and publicize the availability of Lifeline service in a manner reasonably designated to reach those likely to qualify for the service. At the moment, Starlink's public beta is limited to providing internet access, but the filing also contains the possibility of consumers purchasing a 24-hour backup battery as, quote, an option that will provide the ability to make phone calls in the event of a power outage. SpaceX further mentioned that in its baseline plan, Starlink services could provide telephone services connecting consumers to its MSP's platform using its net capacity, which is available to consumers through their customer premises equipment. Interestingly enough, they added that Starlink customers would have the option. The connection to Starlink has two advantages that will make this possible. The first is that Starlink isn't connected to a single satellite, but rather a web of thousands of interconnected satellites. And the second is that Starlink dishes have built-in motors that allow them to detect signals and auto-adjust to make a better connection. That means that a future with fully mobile Starlink is possible right now. Starlink aims to offer broadband directly to customers. This means that there are no middlemen, and the company has total control of the system. However, there are certain drawbacks. The terminals are expensive to design and produce, and they expose users to the tricky parts of satellite communication, like making sure your antenna has a clear view of the sky and not a tree or a nearby building. An alternative to dealing with all those customers is plugging the satellites directly into an existing terrestrial communications network. If a satellite can connect directly to a mobile network or mobile phones themselves, they will not have to worry about developing expensive ground infrastructure or customer services. Starlink leads the way in satellite broadband. It roughly has 1,800 satellites launched to date and has shipped 100,000 terminals in 14 countries. The service itself costs $499 for a starter kit with a $99 monthly fee while initial speeds were hit or miss. Starlink speeds are approaching that of broadband, with some 1,800 satellites already orbiting Earth, providing internet access to about 100,000 households. SpaceX's Starlink broadband service is poised to emerge from the beta testing phase soon. Do you think Elon Musk can stuff each of his ideas into his new phone? Do you think Musk is making a phone we can carry to Mars if the Starship voyage succeeds, since it would be consistently connected to the satellite? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks, 